we need all of you and so many more of you, uh, not, not as APEC, but as Polish Americans here in Washington and those that are working in Washington to be able to, uh, to bring about change and, and effectively lobby on these issues. So um, our appeal to you today and, and the message that we are hoping you can walk away with is that when you go back to your local communities, this is where the work starts. Please use us as a resource and hopefully we will use you as a resource, but this is where the work needs to start. And over the last few months, we have countless examples of Polish Americans across the country that have organized their communities, reached out to their elected officials in Congress, and these elected officials have signed on to the JOLT Act. The example I always use is Connecticut and a Congresswoman Esty who wrote a letter to every Polish American that sent her a letter asking her to sign on to the JOLT Act saying, your, your, um, you bring this issue to my attention as a result why I signed on to this legislation. Um, I've worked very closely with Polish Americans in, in Texas over the last few months, and I can tell you right now, it is not a coincidence why so many Republicans, who in theory would be against anything that has to do with immigration, uh, we don't think the JOLT Act is immigration, but they, 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 some elected officials frame it that way. It is, no, is, it is not a coincidence why there are so many Republicans from Texas who have signed on to the JOLT Act. This is the work of the local Polish American community and we need to replicate that times 50.